Hello, bookworm family. Oh, that was weird. Hello, bookworm family. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Danny. If you're new, please go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. If you haven't yet, turn on the notification bell because it's always a mystery when I post new videos. And if you're not yet following me on Instagram, please go do that. It's at Danny's Book Corner 2018. So another video where I'm like rushing out the door, but I've been, I've had a rough couple days and I went out because I'm waiting on my ride, but, and there was a package out there and I was like, guys, I need to open a package, especially cause I know it's going to be Harry Potter mail. And again, I'm on my knees cause again, I'm rushing out the door. So I didn't have time to set up my whole stuff, but I need some Harry Potter mail. So we're going to open this. So this should be the uh, Geek Gear Wizardry box. However, it is a mystery box of some of their old product. So in the last video, I opened up their new one with all their new like concepts and things that they're doing with their new like remade box. Um, and I linked that description down below. This is for a mystery box of just random stuff that they still have that they're trying to get rid of. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and open this and apparently it's supposed to be really good. Like you're supposed to be getting a ton of stuff for super cheap. So I'll post the pricing because I forgot how much it is. The pricing information and uh, a link to how to get the mystery box specifically um, down below. So let's go ahead and open this. So I'm gonna first tear off the plastic. And the reason I didn't take the plastic off gonna move back here but the reason I didn't take the plastic off originally is because I felt attached to the box the box must be so full that they had to actually tape the t-shirt to the bottom of the box something in here smells wicked good oh my gosh okay let's just tear into it because I don't even know what it is I'm wicked excited so because this is a mystery box it's probably not going to be in my house which I am a Ravenclaw, but if we get Ravenclaw stuff, that would be super cool. But I don't think it's going to be... Holy... What? Oh my gosh, this is so full. Guys, this is so full. This is like the biggest subscription box I think I've ever gotten. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, I needed this. I needed this, guys. This is like Christmas in here. So we're going to end with the... um t-shirt. I don't even know where to start. This is so cool. I am so happy. Oh, I needed this. I needed this. All right, let's just start. So the very first thing, this is a butterscotch soap. So this is a Geek Gear Wizardry. I believe it's an exclusive. It doesn't say exclusive on it though, but this is a soap and it's got the logo. So I'm assuming it's Geek Gear exclusive, um, which is really cool because I actually got the Butterscotch Bath Bomb in the last box that I opened and I was planning on using that tonight when I get home. So I'll probably use this soap too. I'm just going to smell like a candy store. It's going to be great. There's no gentle way to open this. Ooh, it's glittery. Oh, that... It doesn't really smell like butterscotch. It just smells like soap. But look, it's black and it's gold. That's cool. I wonder if you like, I wonder if it like changes colors or something. I will get back to you on this product, but this is cool. This is cool. Good start. Good start box. Next. Oh, oh, this is, a, uh, guys, guys, this is amazing. And I, I bet that if you got another mystery box, you would probably have or you would probably run into the problem of like getting same stuff that I got in this mystery box. Like I'm sure it's not all going to be different, but maybe if you waited like a couple months in between each box, they would be like wicked different. So, um, so this is the little stand. It's got to get snapped back in because it, I don't know if it broke or if it just came undone. Um, but anyway, so this is a fire, I think it's supposed to be a fire bolt bolt because it's got the orange stick. I'm not 100% sure. This is just a broom replica, which is really great to just have a part of your collection or your stand or whatever. Yeah, I don't think this was supposed to fall off, but I think I could fix it with a little bit of glue. Not a problem at all. Uh, but yeah, it's just a little broom. Super cute. Uh, I'm not happy that it's broken, but I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here, so I guess I can't expect it all to be fantastic. So next we have a keychain. It is a Geek Gear licensed exclusive, and it just says, I'd rather be at Hogwarts. Ain't it the truth? Ain't it the truth? Uh, so the next thing I want to open... Oh, uh, okay, so I saw this in the January box, and I wanted one, but I didn't think I'd be able to get one. But it is a snowy owl, and it's just this little, like, owl plush 
Um, it's so pretty. It's my own little Hedwig. It's my own little Hedwig. Look how cute it is. It looks really weird, like real, which is kind of creepy, but it's just a little Hedwig. And it's got a stand so that he sets up and can watch over all your Harry Potter things. I like that. Guys, there's so much stuff in here. I don't even know where to go next. I guess I'll do this one because it's taking up a lot of space. It says, Harry Potter travel mug. And it's got <laughs> Harry Potter Christmas sweaters on it. Oh, that's cute. So I bet a lot of this stuff is Christmas because they can't really like put Christmas stuff back in any boxes other than like a mystery box because people don't want Christmas stuff after Christmas. However, this doesn't really look Christmassy, so I'm fine with it. Um, oh, okay. So it's this is like really dense, um, like really like sturdy. Why can't I think of the word? Uh, like ceramic almost cup. And it's got the Harry Potter Christmas sweaters on it. And then this is just a rubber topper. Uh, this would be good if I actually made coffee at home, which I never do. But I do when I get sick, like to bring um, orange juice with me. So I will probably do that. Put some orange juice in here. It's really hard to get the top back. I'm trying to get the lid back on. <laughs> you have to be more coordinated than me to work a mug. But anyways, this is super cute. I really like this one. And it's like really good quality. Like, really good quality. So far, I have zero complaints. Zero complaints. Oh, well, the broom thing was broken. But other than that, zero complaints. Next. Okay. So I'm a little bummed. Because I've always wanted a tie. Like a Harry Potter tie. However, it's Gryffindor colors and I'm a Ravenclaw. But, you know, I think these are super cute. And I feel like there's a lot of people in my life, um that would like to have this for fun. The truth is I don't know how to tie a tie. I don't really have a desire to learn. So we're just gonna do this. And look, it's a scarf now. Yep. I look handsome. Uh, yeah, so I don't really know anyone. I know a lot of Hufflepuffs and I know a lot of Ravenclaws. The only Gryffindor I know is my friend like my best friend and she's not even really a Gryffindor she just thinks she is but she doesn't know anything about Harry Potter so she's just like I'm a Gryffindor just to bother me because she doesn't know anything about Harry Potter but anyways so it looks like it's a little like ripped but I don't know if it's supposed to like I don't know is that supposed to be connected I don't know not my favorite thing in the box either way not my favorite thing just because it's not Ravenclaw and I'm like a hardcore Ravenclaw anywho moving on so we got some cookie cutters. We got two. They're like shaped like the uh, Weasley sweaters. So, which is what was on that cup? I said they were Harry Potter sweaters, but they're the Harry Potter Mrs. Weasley made that sweater kind of thing. Um, so we have two cookie cutters that are supposed to be like sweaters, which I think these are actually kind of fun. They gave me two of them. Um, I can make cookies with my niece and then let her like fashion design on them and I feel like she would get a kick out of that because that's just her so like they don't even really have to be Harry Potter related you just have cookie cutters that are shaped like clothes which is cool next we have I think these are pins okay so we got two pins and I did see these um in past boxes as well uh but this is the snowy owl Christmas Hedwig this is the snowy owl Christmas pin uh, so it's just a little Hedwig with a hat my video keeps cutting out so I think I had said everything about this pin that I needed to in the last but I'm just really happy it's just a little snowy owl Hedwig with the Christmas hat and scarf which is super cute and then the other pin we got says potions master I don't know if you can see with the glare on there I'll just take it out um but it just says potion master so kind of like Snape potions master I'm not going to be able to hang on to any of these pins. Um, but it's really big. Like, the pins are really big. Um, I just kind of put pins onto a bag that I have in my room. And it's got, like, all my, like, book box pins. I don't really collect them. I know a lot of people do. I was trying to collect pins. But then I found it easier to collect bookmarks. So, I collect bookmarks instead. Um, so, the next thing, because we're still going, guys. It says, Night Bus bus ticket on the side. I'm assuming that this is going to be a replica of the night bus. I really hope it is. Oh no, you know what this is? Oh, this is creepy guys. I've seen this. Oh, it creeps me out so much. It's so creepy. It's Ernie <laughs> from the night bus. It's just his head. Oh, look at his face. Oh, that's so creepy. <laughs> 
I don't. It's so It's just Ernie's head. Ah, it's so creepy. I thought it would be like a little Night Boss replica, but I did see that online already, so I kind of knew when I opened it up what it was going to be, but oh my goodness. All right, so next we have, this is a um bath bomb. Does it sort you? It's got all the houses on it. <gasps> it's Ravenclaw! It's got blue tissue paper. It's Ravenclaw! Um, okay, so it's got the blue, and I think, like, this red is supposed to be the copper, whatever. That's fine. Oh, I don't know which bath bomb to use today now, guys. It smells like hopes and dreams. No, it smells like blueberry. But it smells really good. I, it, like, smells like... It smells like a giant jawbreaker. I know it's not. I won't eat it. But it does smell like one of those giant jawbreaker things. I'm so glad it's Ravenclaw. I thought it was going to like sort me. I thought I was going to put it in and it was going to change colors and sort me. I would have been mad if I wasn't Ravenclaw. But it's a Ravenclaw bath bomb. So now I have this bath bomb. I have the butterscotch soap. And from the last video, I have the butterscotch or butterbeer um, bath bomb. So I don't even know what to use in the shower today. I'm really excited about all of it. So we're winding down here. So the next thing... I'm going to assume it's a wand. I mean, what else would be in here? But it's a geek, geek gear wand. Let's see. Are you a character wand? Let's find this out. Definitely sturdy. I can feel the sturdy. Oh, my God. <gasps> it's the elder wand. Don't you just love it? Aren't wands just fantastic? I literally love wands. I wish I could own all the wands. Accio Wands! I'll just take this one. I'm not magical. That's sad. <laughs> Alright, so the print that we have in here is... I don't remember what box this is from. You know it was one of their recent boxes because I saw people um, unbox it. But it's just the Triwizard Tournament poster. Which is really cool. Really cool. Uh, it's a little dark for my room. I keep my rooms, I mean, I know that I have like a ton of Harry Potter stuff in here, which makes it dark anyway, but I do try to keep my room colors like lighter, so I don't know if I'll hang this one up, where I would definitely hang up the one that I got in the other box from Geek Gear, but I mean, it's really cool. Again, I feel like I want to like have like a Harry Potter party at my dance studio, and I feel like my boss would be like totally okay if I was like, yo. I want to do a Harry Potter party. She'd be like, do it. Let's do it. Come on, let's go. Kind of thing. She also likes Harry Potter, so. So the last thing we have is this shirt. I wonder, does it match my size still? It does still match my size, so that's good. They don't just throw in random sizes. And I do really like this shirt. It's just all the houses on it. Uh, so we've got my Ravenclaw up here. we got Hufflepuff, Slytherin, Gryffindor. And it almost looks like it would glow in the dark. I wonder if it would. I don't know. I can't tell. I'll post down below if it glows in the dark. But basically, here's the shirt. I like it. I have so many Harry Potter shirts now. My mom's like, what is that you're wearing? Because, like, she doesn't understand, like, anything Harry Potter. So, like, I'll wear, like, the Deathly Hallows shirt. And she'll be like, what is on your shirt? It looks witchy. And I'm like, well, it is witchy. That's from Harry Potter. But it's not, it's not anything bad. It's just a Harry Potter symbol, Mom. But anyway, so I love this box. I actually really like this mystery box almost more than what I got in like the subscription box just because you got so much. However, I did know a lot of the products that was already in here and it doesn't match my house. Um, and I feel like if I ordered another one right now, I'd get a lot of the same stuff. But this was really cool. I'd have to say my favorite thing out of this box is probably the wand. You guys know I'm a sucker for a good wand. But I also really like that I got my Ravenclaw house bath bomb instead of it being like a random house that was cool and it probably was a random house but you know anything Ravenclaw is exciting to me but anyway thank you guys so much for watching if you guys are interested in this box or any other geek geek gear boxes I will link that in the description down below and thank you guys so much for watching 